Welcome to a lecture on composition of functions and domain of composite functions. The composition of two functions involves replacing the variable in one with the equation of the other function. The domain of the composite function includes the restrictions of the function that becomes the input the one that replaces x in the other function and the restrictions of the final equation of the composite function. In the given example f is the square root of x plus 7 and g equals x plus 2. The composite function will be f of g of x square root x plus 2 plus 7 comes out to be the square root of x plus 9. The domain of f circle g includes the restrictions on g. g is x plus 2 so the domain of that is all real numbers, no restrictions, and then the restrictions on the final answer of the composite function, which was the square root of x plus 9. This has a square root radicand, and the square root radicand, x plus 9, must be greater than or equal to 0, or x must be greater than or equal to negative 9. We put both of these restrictions together. The domain is all numbers greater than or equal to negative 9 or in interval notation negative 9 to infinity. The composite function g circle f of x will be g of f of x so f of x will go in g, that will be the square root of x plus 7 plus 2. The domain of this function must be the restrictions of f of x, and f of x was the square root of x plus 7, so that is a square root radicand, and it has a restriction that x plus 7 has to be greater than or equal to 0, or x has to be greater than or equal to negative 7 and the restriction of the final answer. The final answer is x plus 7, square root of x plus 7 and plus 2 outside. This also has a square root radicand that must be considered x plus 7 greater than or equal to 0 or x greater than or equal to negative 7. Putting them together, the domain of the composite function g circle f of x is from negative 7 to infinity. Given this new example with f of x equal the square root of x and g of x having denominator x plus 3, the composite function f circle g of x equals f of g of x so f is the square root of and in the place of x we will replace g of x which is um, 4 over x plus 3 the square root of 4 is 2 and the denominator is the square root of x plus 3 the domain of f circle g has to include the restrictions of g of x that came into the function f. Now g of x has a denominator and the restriction for that is that the denominator must be not equal to 0, that makes x not equal to negative 3. And then the restrictions of the overall expression we found for an answer This has two issues. One is it has a denominator. 
the denominator must be not equal to zero, that makes the radicand not equal to zero and x not equal to three, but it also has a radicand in a square root which has to be greater than or equal to zero. So x has to be greater than or equal to negative three. We have to put all these restrictions together to find the domain of the composite function. The domain will be all the numbers greater than or equal to negative three, but not equal to negative three. Therefore, open at negative three, comma, infinity, open.